in Marrakesh, again. Uh, outside there are some people who are praying, I assume. You can you hear that? Yeah. Uh, I'm wearing two pairs of glasses because uh, I can't see unless I wear my normal glasses. And these are sunglasses, which I traded with Lindsay for these glasses. We bought in the market today. Do you want to talk about the market, Lindsay? Yeah, we went to the market today and we were wandering around like tourists, which we are. Yeah. And some guy came up and was telling us, like, oh no, the market, it's that way. And he was the friendliest guy, and he, he made me really happy, because he just told us where it was. He didn't ask for any money, he just let us go on our way. And, and uh, then, Lindsay sees no possibility of us turning to us. And, and Richard's smarter than everyone else. So, <laughs> then, we ran back into the same guy momentarily afterwards, and he said, oh, this is my friend, we work together, he'll show you. And Chris is like, being a smart person, he's like, no. We, we don't want to pay. We don't. We don't need a guide. And he's like, No, no, it's free. I just got a new guide. No money. No money. No money. No honey. We just walk past my house. <laughs> no money. No honey. <laughs> so we go with the guy. I mean, we never got any honey. That part was true. There was no honey. We went with the guy, and he was a really nice guy, and I bonded with him. He's, he's my new friend. And then he led us to the tanneries. He was like, Oh, the, everything's closed, but let's go to the tanneries. And we're like, yeah, Okay, whatever. Yeah, so why not? That's, that's so we fun. go to the freaking tanneries, which is like, it's this just. Pits of here, check this out. Pits of what was it? Pigeon. Pigeon ship. Pigeon droppings. <laughs> it looks like this. Except, is that the one in Fels? Or? Okay. No, that's, that's the generic. <laughs> and what was the quote that the guy told us, Richard? Uh, so they they wash the the hides in lime and then in pigeon shit. So he said something, and they both smell really bad. So he was like, shit, cancel shit, no shit. Contra. Do you say it in French? Yeah. Shit yeah. contra shit equals no shit. That's awesome. And uh, then he took us to the the guys that make the finished product. He yeah, said, do you want to see the finish, finished product? We said, yeah, yeah, sure. This isn't the finished product. This is from somewhere else. But, but he took us into a back room, well, a shop, the back room of a shop where a man made us some mint tea and then tried very, very hard to sell us an expensive rug. There were piles and piles of rugs, and he had like his young accomplice, and there were like three Probably different types family. of rugs. Family member. He would just get out every single rug and like fold it over. So by the end, there were like thirty rugs oh. in a pile on the floor that this man had to fold out. And we had to say if we liked the rug, we had to say, Ejma. Ejma. No, if we didn't no, no. like the rug, we said Ejma. Ejma. And if we did like the rug, we said Rale. 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 So it's um. But we didn't buy the rugs because they were expensive and we didn't have any money. And he was really mad at me. He was pretty disappointed. He was just disappointed. He still shook our hands on the way out. And then the guy who showed us round the tanneries was waiting outside and asked us for money as well. So we got out of the deal. We got to see the tanneries. We got some mint tea. We got to hang out with some Berber guys. We learned two words. And it cost us a mere, what was it? Oh, altogether like 130 dirham. Yeah. <laughs> so like 13 euro. Yes. Uh, so yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a four-person sting started by the nice guy who told us to get out of the way of the mopeds, and then continued by his friend day, who was just going home. Throughout yeah. the day, we ran into several more people trying to show us the tanneries, and, a, and then if we didn't, if we said we already saw it, then there's the blacksmith, there's the spices, which I don't know what that could be. That was all there was. You just watch a man like grinding spices. Into it's a big thing here. It's big. This is what you gotta watch out for the four-man sting operation. All right. And that's the word from Lindsay Arndt.